2-2 pitch. There's a line shot, but right to Glovenyak at second base for an easy out. Go one pitch, and there's a pop-up right side. Everybody giving chase. First baseman Tom Shea back, but it will be Greer's ball near the line for the second out. And Ortman lines a 1-2 pitch. Breaking ball. Swung on a miss. And it's strike three, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Dylan Ortman. Towards that green monster, a no doubter gone. Solo shot. Make that two on the season for Damon Tom Shea. And the Tigers are up one tip. No doubt about it. Jumping right on the first pitch fastball from Papillion, and that will get this crowd on their feet. Swing and misses, strike three, and the throw down to second base is in time. Strike him out, throw him out. Hacker covered the bag at second, and it's two down Auburn, and the bases are clear. Bonin steps in, 279, lays a bunt down the third baseline, charging as Austin, throws the first in time. And the 3-1 pitch. There's a shot out in left field, second base hit of the night for the Tigers. Blake Logan. And the first pitch, ground and chopped up the middle. Tough play for the shortstop, flips back to second. No, he lost the ball. Everybody's safe, runners at first and second. Came away empty-handed, 2-0 pitch. There's a shot out in the left center field off the bat of Ebert in the deepest part of the ballpark. It's down. Here comes Logan. He rounds. He'll score. Here comes King and Thompson. He'll score. And sliding into third base safely is Jordan Ebert. Three to nothing, Tigers. What a rip. They triple out into the deep corner of the ballpark out there in that 385 gap. And Auburn's out in front, three zips. And showing bunt is Greer. And squeeze bunt on. Sliding in safely is Ebert. Throw the first in time to get Greer. But the squeeze play works. Wind up the one-two on the way. And rung up on strikes is Michael Massey. Beautiful breaking ball to enter half the plate. And Dylan Orman retires Massey for the third out. 1-0 pitch on the way to ball, and he'll give it a ride to center field. Tella will come over to left center to make the grab for the first out of the innings. A one pitch on the way to Young. He'll rip one to Blake Austin at third base. He'll play the one hop and He'll fire across to Damon Tomche over at first. Great defensive play. One-two pitch. Allen's looped in the left field, and it'll fall in there for a base hit. So Jordan Ebert, a leadoff single. And a three or four missed run attempts. Ebert takes off from second base. He slides in the third stolen base. Ford regroup as a batter. Two-two pitch. Given a ride to center field. Sasha Lagarde comes up to make the grab. Ebert will come home on the tag. And the Auburn Tigers lead five to nothing here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Damon Hacker with a sack fly and an RBI. Tigers swing and a miss, strike three. That's Ortman's fifth strikeout of the night. He'll take a rip at the first pitch. That one all the way down to the green monster down the left field line. Blake Austin will round first. And he's in there at second base, standing up with a leadoff double, double and nice piece of hitting there for the Auburn senior, Blake Austin. All the way to, to bunt with two strikes, but you don't see it very often. 2-2 pitch, he does show bunt. Blake Austin advances the third safely, and Papillion will fire the first as he fields the bunt to retire Ryan Tella. So Tella wind up the 1-1 on the way, and that one's put over the second baseman's head, and Blake Austin will come home off the, off the two-out RBI single by Blake Logan. And Orman winds in pitch. Outside corner called strike three. Workman didn't like it, but it's the second out by Dylan Ortman. 0-2 pitch. Pop fly left field. Easy play for Ebert. Over to his right, makes the play for the third out. 1-2-3 inning for Dylan Ortman here at the top of the seventh and Auburn. Do up with a 6-0 lead. Bird Green, the 1-2 pitch, chopped to short. Going to be a sh slow roller. Going to have to be a quick play. Bang, bang at first. Bouncer, no, not in time. They pulled him off the bag over there at first base. Top of the order, Anthony Greer, 0 for 1 on the day. There's a shot out in the left center field. Center fielder giving chase and the left fielder. Nobody gets there. Lands in safely in left center field. Greer digs for second. He slides in safely. Second and third, Auburn, nobody out. The 0-1 pitch home. There's a drive out to right, base hit. One run is in. Here comes Greer. They're going to wait. No, they're going to hold him up at third. Tom Shea will hold it first. And the 2-0 pitch. There's a base hit out in the left field. Make that 9-0 Tigers. Big cut by Tella. Turn around second, and he will hold up there. It's first and second as Tom Shea comes in to score. It's only uh, his tenth at bat as he grounds that one. Play over for Glevignac to his right. Throws over to first base in time, I should say. A one-two pitch from Coger. Swung on him in, strike three. Also picked up an RBI tonight. Runner goes from first base. Burr Green, no throw. Sliding in safely. It'll be stolen base for Auburn. Two outs and Auburn one out away from picking up the win here on this Friday night. Pop fly, that'll do it. Should do it. 
Hacker back about four steps in the outfield grass, makes the play. Tigers win the opening game here against the Mercer Bears tonight by a final score of nine to five. Yeah, we got to keep our foot on the gas, you know, and helping our guys a little bit as far as hit and run, bunting, squeezing, doing things like that. And, you know, even with Bergreen, he got a great jump, stole second base, and we were just going to see if he could steal third. Again, you know, we're doing it to try to score runs today, but also get better for down the road. And, um, you know, I had a feeling they were going to pitch out right there, but we didn't call it off, even though we thought had a feel they were going to pitch out right there, because it's about us getting a good jump. And I told him when he came in, he goes, do I have to get a better jump? I said, no, they pitched out on you. And he said, oh, doggone it. But you know what? It's about you know him playing hard, running the bases hard. All the guys really played hard tonight. So again, we're pleased as coaches of where our guys are going and what direction. But tomorrow will be a big day for us.